What's going on everybody, Wild Time here with another World of Warcraft video. Today we're going to be talking about things that you can do every day to make gold in the long term. Now this is specifically for blacksmithing and engineering and for a few specific patterns. So let's talk about what those two patterns are first, what the crafts are, and then a little bit about what you're going to need to get them. So... The first one we're going to talk about is the steel bound harness. Now this is a mount, it's a core hound mount, and uh, the thing that's going to hold you up, the, where the daily part comes in, is this blood of Sargeras here. So you need 50 of these, but once you get 50 of these, you can sell this, and right now it's going for 30k, so this is about a 24k profit. Now these bloods can be farmed various different ways. The easiest way, and what I do every day, is I just come on here and I check the Broken Isles with an add-on called World Quest Tracker and it'll tell you where the World Quests are for these. So like today it's not that great, we can get two here, one here, and then one here. But sometimes, especially down in like um, the Broken Shore, you'll get some that'll give you like 10 at a time or something like that. So they want to check that and then do those uh, daily. And then another thing you can do is check in your class hall from Legion. Sometimes there's some pretty juicy ones here, especially if, if you have your class hall built up like I do. The problem with that is, is you're going to need um, resources, order resources, which means you're going to have to go out into Legion and do some stuff. There was one yesterday for like eight. Plus I get the bonus. I would have got like 12, uh, which would be super sweet, but it was 2,500 resources. And I had just been slacking on getting those. But to get those resources, same thing, you just do things around the islands, right? Like, so here's 665, 355, 380 right here. And then that way, um, once you do those, you can do those quests as they pop up on your mission table. 495, 500. So these are going to just take you seconds to do. Uh, maybe take some time in a day or something, do as many as you can, and just give it a break for a while because let's face it, that's not going to be uber exciting. But... Another way you could run this is you could do runs of dungeons. So, for example, Darkheart Thicket is a good one. And um, you can get probably uh, three or four per run on that. And you can make a run in like six or seven minutes. It doesn't take long um, at all. Maybe a little longer depending on your, on your class. So, there's a few different ways to get those bloods. But daily, at least, I'm logging on to check the world quest about the bloods. Now, the pattern itself... You'll have to get the pattern. If you don't have the pattern, um, I've got a video that I'll link here at the end that, that tells you how to go get that. It's from a Nighthold boss. Uh, it's really, really easy. The next thing we're going to talk about is engineering. Now, this is an oldie but a goodie. A lot of people probably already know about this one. But it is for the Sky Golem. Now, the Sky Golem has definitely lost some of its... Um, some of its allure, especially in Dragonflight, because you can pick herbs on your dragon mount. But uh, if you're doing any old school farming in older areas and stuff like that, this guy actually lets you harvest herbs while you are mounted. So if you look here um, on my realm right now, it's 50,000 gold, but the average, the historical market value here is 29,000. So you're between 25 and 29 thousand which is going to greatly reduce your profits right um <clears throat> so this one it takes 30 uh peculiar energy sources um of jars right here and then 30 living steel now the, the living steel is what's going to cost you because these just take uh, a few ghost iron ore but it's a daily cooldown so that's the problem so you make one of these a day at the end of 30 days if you're consistent you can buy these out or use an alchemist or something to transmute them and then make your golem now the profit on that is a lot less than the core hound so i really prefer the core hound but on my blacksmith and engineer those are my go-to daily things that i log in to do to make sure that I've always got one of the core hounds up and then every 30 days one of the sky golems up to get those big juicy profits from those. Uh, it can get tedious and I skip some days and stuff like that but they're really nice when you have them and they sell. So don't forget to check out the video about the core hound harness right here at the end. Don't forget to sub and I'll catch you all later.